Temporal means time-based. You'll understand that much more as I go on. There are three types of temporal tables. There's valid time, there is transaction time, and then there's bi-temporal, a combination of both valid time and transaction time. Here's an example of creating a bi-temporal table with both valid time and transaction time. Notice a few things here. First of all, look at the data type of a period data type. I had never seen a data type that was a period data type. That will always be the case in a temporal table, and I'll explain that further in a second. Also notice in blue that I have the keywords valid time. I'm actually giving the column an alias of valid time, and then I'm doing it again and saying I'm giving this column an alias of transaction time. When Teradata sees those period data types and valid time and transaction time, it says this is a bi-temporal table. I'll track this for the user. As you can see in our example, I have placed in red the word period. That's the period data type. And what that means is, is that you will get a range of time, a period of time that will have a beginning time and an ending time. So as you can see here, we've got a beginning date, and then we've got 9999-1231. That means that's going to last forever. So it has not ended yet. That's how they establish if a row is still open. In the next example here, you can see we have a beginning date and we have an ending date. That period of time came and went. So that is a row that's been closed. So anytime you see the 9999, you go, oh, the row is still open. Notice down below, we actually have a timestamp. A timestamp is the date, a space, and the exact time down to the millisecond. And as you can see here, we have a beginning timestamp and then our 9999 stuff. So that row is still open or established as it is open till the end of time or until we close it. Here I've highlighted in blue and red the keywords valid time and transaction time. And that's how Teradata knows, oh, these are period data types. I'm going to track these as temporal tables. Now, I want you to also notice that my first valid time was a date. It could be a date or it could be a timestamp. Now, when you talk about transaction time, that is always got to be a timestamp. And I have taken the liberty for you to give you the exact SQL that it must be. You follow these examples and it's going to work for you guaranteed. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned.